Hello YouTube, uh, in this video, Lord of the Waffles 1229 and I are going to be going over or comparing and contrasting two printing calculators of the same series. We're going to uh, can be comparing the TI-5045SV and the Texas Instruments TI-5045-2. So they're both of the 5045 series and we're just going to be looking at some common similarities and differences between them. So to start out, uh, I th the first thing I noticed on both of these calculators was that the displays are kind of flipped. So the screen is on the left side on the SV, whereas on the right side on the 2, as well as the stickers on opposite sides. Both of them are uh, have 12-digit 12, 12 displays and both are two-color printing calculators. Uh, the SV has a uh, super view feature, I'm not sure the significance of that, versus the 2, which doesn't appear to have the super view feature. feature. Uh, the switches are on the same side, they seem to be, uh, one, the first three are the same in each one, this is the power switch, round switch, and decimal switch, uh, we have that here as well. Uh, a difference though is the fourth switch on the SV is a tax switch where you can set the tax rate and then calculate it from there, calculate your totals, whereas on the uh, 5045-2 there's a what's called a sigma switch. I'm not entirely sure what the sigma switch does yet, I'm going to be looking into that a little bit. Uh, but the t uh, and related to the tax but the tax switch, excuse me, I have I was easily able to figure out how to set the tax rate on the SV. However, I was not able to figure out the tax rate how to set the tax rate uh, on the two super easily. I still haven't figured it out. Um, but while we're here, uh, let's turn them on, both of them. Zoom out. Just keep it zoomed out. Uh, so you. These are both the displays. It looks like the numbers are a little bit smaller on the 2 as opposed to the SV. Um, but both work very well. As you can see, I have experimented with both of them a lot. Uh, the paper feed buttons are on different sides as well. I forgot to mention that. It's on the left side on the SV and the uh, right side on the 2. Uh, the number pads are both in the centers. Uh, the operations mostly are on the left side on both of them. Uh, the memory keys, uh, the to subtotal and total, subtotal total are both on the right side on both of them. Keep it zoomed out. Uh, other differences, the date, the date button if you want to just enter a date for reference without it affecting your calculations. That button is on the left side as opposed to the right side on the two. Clear entry, both the same. Uh, tax, the tax rate buttons, not in the tax rate, excuse me. On the SV, we have uh, an add tax and subtract tax buttons, whereas on the two, we don't even have those at all. They're nowhere to be found. Both have a GPM button. Uh, I believe that's gross profit margin. I'm not an accountant or a financial analyst. I'm just a guy who likes calculators, so I'm I'm not entirely sure how to use those functions to their maximum potential, although through numerous inter internet searches, I've found that you can do work with these somehow by doing uh, stuff like this, like say the price of something is $100 divided by 15, uh, and then you wanna do gross profit margin. So then your gross profit margin would be 17.65 for that, that's that was just me experimenting with it, but um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I'm sure I'm, I'm wrong with something or what the significance of the 15 would be. Uh, let's see, other differences. Uh, oh, going back to the power switch on the SV, the grand total feature is on the power switch itself, so you can it's the last option. Whereas we don't have that feature on the two power switch, uh, grand total is simply there's no grand total at all. I thought it did. Uh, on the SV, it also it has the grand total button to use with uh, that option on the switch. Whereas the two, it's nowhere to be found. Other differences in buttons, uh, though, are, is this button right here. This is kind of a, a unique button that I've not been able to figure out the, uh, the function for yet. I wonder if you guys can help. It's a right triangle and the percentage sign. I've been trying to screw around with it to figure out what it means. But um, if you guys can help me out in the comments, that'd be great. Right here, this one. Uh, that is about it. Both have been really fussy with trying to get paper in. I have yet to be able to load paper into either of these calculators because they're they're not cooperating. Though I believe that is about all. 
both, uh, neither have battery compartments. You have to plug in both of them. But other than that, both great calculators. I love them both. Texas Instruments, probably my favorite brand, I'd have to say, if I had to pick one. Uh, so that about concludes things, guys. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you in the next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye from both of us.